Korea, long known as the land of morning calm, is now globally known as the nation responsible for Hallyu, the glitzy, hip world of K-pop. Well, I discovered the many faces of Korea as I walked streets bathed in neon, visited an ancient fortress in the middle of a modern city, and played dress-up for a day. Only to realize that the best way to get to know Korea better is through its cuisine. Talk about adventures on a plate, or make that in little bowls. A foray into Korean cuisine means sitting down at a full table, literally. At any typical meal, an assortment of side dishes ranging from 2 to even 12 small platters accompany the main dish. These side dishes are called banchan. Like in many parts of Asia, rice is a staple in Korean cuisine, but may be prepared in the most ingenious of ways. Take this dish, good old chicken soup, samgyetang for instance. Chicken is stuffed with rice and ginseng, and boiled in a broth of jujube fruit, garlic and ginger. Meat dishes are also common, mostly grilled and seasoned with spices, eaten with rice and lettuce. But it is the ubiquitous kimchi that makes every meal unforgettable. Cold winters in ancient Korea forced farmers to pickle their vegetables during the summer and autumn months. Hence, kimchi. My trip to Pungmi Foods in Suwon got me up close and personal with this unique dish, how to prepare it, and the variety of kimchi served per region. Made of pickled vegetables, the most common type of kimchi is the spicy beichu, or cabbage variety. The basic ingredients are cabbage, radish, salt, garlic, onion, ginger, parsley, and leaf mustard, pickled shrimp, anchovies, and even fish sauce for seasoning, and of course, red hot chili powder. Korean food, like its pop culture, has made its way across the globe. My quest to find authentic Korean food in Manila took me to Ara Restaurant in Makati City, Philippines. Owned by Yoon Sun Yoon and her husband Shong Hee Park, Ara offers authentic Korean dishes. The spacious interiors of Ara welcome families and big groups with hearty appetites, while VIP rooms and smaller private rooms add to the authentic Korean dining experience. Jenny, or Chun Yum Park, was there to help me navigate a six-course meal, not to mention more than ten platters of side dishes. In Korea, they have normally the side dishes first. What are those? Um, they're called banchan. Banchan. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. just given and before they eat the appetizers. Okay. So we start with these yeah. guys. The banchan. Usually how many kinds of banchan? Five to six. Now, okay, let's start. I'm hungry, I'm starving. One of the most interesting things about Korean cuisine is the variety of side dishes offered with each meal. Banchan for my meal ranged from flat pancakes with onion leeks, grilled eggplant, and heimul pajon, which is a savory seafood pancake. Korea is a peninsula. And so seafood dishes are what majority of the populace eat. But in the last quarter of the 20th century, meat dishes have been fast gaining popularity in every meal. No Korean restaurant would be caught without a grill or a barbecue. Gogi gi is the term used to refer to grilling meats, chicken or fish. The barbecue is usually prepared on gas or charcoal grills at the center of the table. One popular ghee is galbi or kalbi, or meat marinated in Korean soy sauce, garlic, and vinegar. This plate of thin sirloin slices of beef is called bulgogi, which can either be grilled or cooked in a pan. Ara restaurant only uses the freshest cuts of beef for their grilled specialties, and this one I was ready to try. Cooking was a blast! But the real fun part is in the eating. 
In between bites, I realized that Korean food is meant to be shared and enjoyed, and that the mere act of dining that night at ARA restaurant defined a truly communal experience. After five more plates of grilled meats, a few glasses of Korean rice wine or soju, good conversation and laughter with friends over shared platters of banchan, I found the soul of Korea.